So what is up guys, it's AG from Techbox Community, back again with another video. And this time guys, I'm here to tell you, Samsung has launched the Nougat update for the S7 and the S7 Edge, here in India. It's a 1.2GB update, it packs in a lot of features, actually it packs in the entire Grace UI from the Note 7, before it sizzled out. First up guys, straight from the always on display, we can see everything has changed, much more cleaner look, subtle look, also it supports third-party app notifications this time. So it's not only constricted to Samsung proprietary notifications, but also Facebook, WhatsApp, Messenger, any notification you say, the always-on display has you covered. Getting into the home screen now, guys, we can see the app icons have been changed a bit, but we still get a horizontally scrollable home screen panels with a new calendar widget, which can now be changed in colors from black to white or white to black, and also the transparency can be adjusted. Long pressing the home screen gives us three options this time, wallpaper and themes, widgets, and screen grid. Wallpaper and themes, guys, this time it has been combined into one. Previously, there we had two options, wallpapers and themes. Wallpapers was a settings part and themes of the Samsung Theme Store. This time, Samsung Theme Store packs in wallpapers, themes, and icons. Icons is basically icon packs for the S7 and the S7 Edge certified by Samsung. Swiping down the notification sheet gives us a straight row of quick toggles which are not scrollable and some notifications which are not grouped together in categories. Swiping again reveals more quick toggle settings, a search bar and the brightness slider. The quick toggles this time are now horizontally scrollable instead of covering the full screen. I like this presentation much more than the previous versions. Also clicking on the name of a quick toggle will take you to a shot settings panel for that quick toggle. Like the Wi-Fi would give you names of the Wi-Fi networks available. And the newest quick toggle that has been introduced is the blue light filter guys. The blue light filter is basically a filter that filters blue light. Blue light is harmful. It filters those lights just so that your eyes can get less strain. Samsung thinks of you guys. I like this company, Samsung thinks of you. The folders has been changed now guys, the animation has changed, the folders are now horizontally scrollable again, Samsung has ditched the vertical thing, everything is now done horizontally, and also they have a transparent background. Now who doesn't like transparency? We all love transparency, don't we? Now the camera application has been directly taken off from the Note 7 and placed into the S7 Edge. The camera application is now gesture based, a left swipe gives you your modes and a right swipe gives you your effects. You have the same design, you have the same management of buttons, video button, capture button and gallery. Settings, everything is the same. It's the same camera model from the S7 Edge and the Note 7 so the camera application is also exactly the same. Getting into the app drawer now guys. Yes, we do have an app drawer present. Samsung has not gone the pixel way of a swipeable app drawer. There's a default button to get into the app drawer. Anyway. The app drawer consists of the search bar along with Google Voice search integration and three dots for your sorting and editing apps. Speaking of apps guys, since the entire UI has been changed, the apps has also been given a facelift. The phone dialer, the contacts, the messaging app, the internet app, everything has been facelifted. It now has a new look, a new industrial look. It just looks good guys, it just looks good. You can see the phone dialer app, there are only two tabs present, the recent tab and the contacts tab. The favorites and the contacts have this time been merged together. The first few contacts are your favorites and after that, well guys, they're just not your favorites. Discrimination guys, discrimination, not done. Also guys, since this is Android's 1.0 Nougat, multi-window capabilities are supported directly from Android, opening up two apps like phone and messages in the background and then double clicking the recent key will allow you to quickly jump between the apps as we've seen before in the iPhones. Now it's on Android as well. Now multi-window as we all know was supported by Samsung devices from a long long time right from the Note 3 and it has come a long way but Nougat incorporates it into the Android OS itself so it's become much more cleaner and much more smooth. Dual window is there, we can resize the windows as we like pop-up view is there we can also change the size of the pop-up windows if we intend to anyway getting to the settings app we can see a lot has changed the entire design has changed it is now arranged in categories instead of circle bubblish icons which used to look hideous this time it looks subtle and industrial and i like it now guys i can't go through all the settings over here because it will take two or three days because a lot has changed a lot has been introduced just go through some articles on the internet, that'll do. But just to give you an idea, let's open up display. Getting to the display, we can see there are now 17 or 16 odd settings options. 
the most noticeable of which is the display resolution settings. The best part about this is that Samsung has allowed you to adjust your screen resolution from 720 pixel HD to 2560 by 1440p 1 HD. It's great guys, it's great to have it because Full HD and Quad HD doesn't have much of a difference but Full HD saves a huge amount of battery so for those of you who need power just drop it down to full hd and you'll see your battery range increases immensely there's no comparison to it also in the settings menu only guys we see device maintenance device maintenance is basically the smart manager application from the previous builds brought into the race ui with a new fancy name it gives you the condition of your phone and allows you to optimize it if it's 100 it's excellent if it's not just optimize it and your RAM and junk would be cleaned up and it will give you your 100% but also we get performance mode over here performance mode mainly guys is performance mode performance mode mainly increases the performance we get three options for performance mode the gaming option the entertainment option and the high performance option now all these three options increases your screen resolution to 1 HD and boosts up the brightness to 10% with a slight change in the CPU performance from category to category but what all three has in common is that it'll drain your battery but it give you a high performance that's why it is called high performance mode one last thing that i need to say especially for you guys in india samsung pay has been launched with this update of the s7 and the s7 edge but it is so new guys that it does not even enter the indian shows yet but once it does it is going to take us by storm because samsung pay is basically the doomsday for all other mobile payment solution it includes NFC, it includes MST, and it basically converts your phone into your credit cards or debit cards. More on Samsung Pay in a later video. So that was it for the newer update on the S7 and the S7 Edge. I think I've covered almost everything, but a lot has changed. Something must have been left out. We can't help that. We can't make the video 30-40 minutes long. If your reason of seeing this video has been fulfilled, just give me a thumbs up. And if you've liked it, subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys. See you again in the next video. Peace.